Howdy, Kyle Polk, Austin BMX here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a new free item for PlayStation Plus members. Yes, you heard me right. PlayStation Plus members got another free item today, and it is starting to look awesome for all of us. What's this guy doing over here? Where are you going, buddy? So if you guys weren't aware, PlayStation and Rockstar have been giving out free items for quite a while, actually, since the beginning of the game. Uh, when online first came out, PlayStation got a free horse, free saddle, even a free revolver from the fence, all kinds of free items before it launched on Xbox, which then it cost money. That also happened with the spring update, another free horse, another free saddle. I believe the ancient tomahawk, some emotes, all kinds of free stuff. That was given the PlayStation early access to those items. Well, back on July 7th, we got the newswire from the PlayStation blog that stated, PlayStation players have already enjoyed a host of exclusive benefits by playing Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, including early access to weapons, horses, clothing, showdown modes, and more. We're excited to share in addition with these ongoing benefits, Red Dead Online players with a PlayStation Plus membership will receive special awards each month. If you guys played during the month of June, you should have got three free treasure maps, which was pretty awesome. That's actually probably the best one we've gotten so far. Last month, we can take a look when we go in the wardrobe here. Last month, we did get a couple free holsters, I believe. At least one free, for sure. If you guys weren't aware of that, definitely check out your holster items in your wardrobe. If we go down to our weapon equipment, I know for a fact the offhand sharpshooter holster was a free item last month. I think I remember getting two. It might have been the horse horsemanship holster as well, but definitely the sharpshooter holster was free item last month if you have a PlayStation Plus membership. So definitely take a look at your wardrobe if you haven't got that equipped and take a look. But this month we just got a notice when we logged in today that a new piece of item is available for us. When we logged on today, we got a little pop-up that told us a new item was available. You guys might have missed it, might have skipped past and thought it was other news. If you're on PlayStation, definitely go check out your wardrobe because today all PlayStation Plus members are eligible to receive the August monthly bonus. PlayStation Plus members who play Red Dead Online on PS4, I'm not sure where PlayStation Plus members would play, play Red Dead Online not on PS4, <laughs> by September 2nd, so all the month of August, will receive a free gift of the blue tinted Charbroza Poncho, a most anticipated addition to your wardrobe that is thrown over the shoulder for a Devonar look. That's right, your reward will be sent to you within 48 hours. We logged in yesterday uh, for the first time and then we already got this today, so you might have already got it. If it's your first time logging in, if you haven't logged in this month yet, definitely jump in. You should get it pretty quick. To equip your new Charbroza Poncho, visit the wardrobe of course at either your camp or your tailor like we're at now. So if we go back over, the ponchos actually have their own section in your wardrobe. We own one of them uh, that we made an awesome little video on some outfits for Ridiculous 6. But if we take a look at them, we should have a new one in here. The blue tinted Charbroza poncho. That's awesome. Those are pretty cool. We're gonna equip this. So get logged in before September 2nd and you should be able to get this for free in your wardrobe on PlayStation. We take a look at our good man's catalog real quick. You can see that this Charbroza poncho is a pretty good addition price-wise to your wardrobe. Free $173 poncho. That's pretty awesome. There's actually a couple in here that are, yeah, they're all $173, I believe. So that was probably the price of this one as well. $173 free poncho for PlayStation Plus members for the month of August is pretty awesome. And maybe even we'll get some more benefits with the summer update coming soon. I also want to let you guys know in this video as well, I have not seen the additional Twitch discount for ability card upgrades, which it strictly states in Tuesday's Newswire. It strictly states that you should get the extra 10% off and upgrading these. But if we go look at them right now, that definitely is still only a 25% discount, not the extra 10% we should get with 
our upgrades available so we're still waiting for that we'll let you guys know when that becomes available for us hopefully we get that fixed soon for twitch prime members as i mentioned when that summer update comes out i wouldn't be surprised if there's some more playstation benefits that we'll get early access to it the way things have been going it definitely looks like that every time a big update comes out we on playstation over here definitely get some pretty cool extra benefits so make sure you check it out on the channel to watch for that information But definitely make sure you're getting in this next two weeks and getting all of your story missions done too. They added that bonus of 30% cash and XP for all story missions. And I'm pretty sure that's because they want to make sure everybody jumps in there, gets those all done. Because it does state in the Friday Newswire we got outline information about the summer update that in addition to the roles, the next update will also deliver a variety of new content. So we're pretty sure that includes story missions as well. So that's probably a basis of why the story mission XP bonus is in for the next two weeks to make sure everybody is all caught up so you can dive right into that new content when it comes out when the summer update hits. All right, if you're not aware of where to look, see if you have all of your story missions done. Just pull up your pause menu button there, options on PlayStation. Go down to progress. Uh, in progress, you have a few options, but if you pick on story missions, you can see we are 100%. This will tell you right there if you're not completely done yet. But if you click on story missions, it'll show all the ones you can do. You can jump in here and replay mission straight here if you want. Uh, you also can rejoin from the quick join menu, and that'll actually put you into a queue, and you'll actually load into a game when someone else is looking for someone to play with. But this allows you to go in and pick any one you want to do. Uh, some of these usually, I think, pay higher XP than others. Yesterday or last night on stream, we did Destroyed by Grief. That's the one where we did and we didn't get quite very good XP. Of course, you need to be dishonorable or honorable for a few of them. I'm pretty sure you have to be honorable to do Bring a Goddamn Posse and Hanging to Tom Davies. And then you need to be dishonorable to do these two new ones from the Spring Update. So make sure you get all those done. If you do need to change your honor, you can always do that by paying gold uh, or you can go ahead and just going from honorable to dishonorable is pretty easy it's going to a town light up for 15 minutes you'll probably be dishonorable getting back to the honor side depends on how far you are down hunting doing good missions feeding your horse all that good stuff is definitely easy ways to do it or just get into a posse with somebody that already is at the honor that you want to play with let them be the leader and that'll get you in there as well. Now, if you've got all your story missions done, would I suggest jumping there and getting those done for that 30% bonus XP? Actually, I honestly really wouldn't. We did a little bit on stream. Uh, one time, we did fail a couple times for some stupid reasons, and we only got 225 XP. Then we went back, because there's a cooldown period where you can only do a story mission every, probably like a half an hour or so. We had to wait a little while, got back in there, completed it first time, and we only got 380 XP. That is not really that great XP if you really think about it and, and look at how much you get for Stranger Missions. So definitely, if you're still looking at getting XP, then definitely get in there with the Stranger Missions and get those done. You still can get a lot more just doing the regular Stranger Missions without the bonus this week than you can with the story missions, I'm pretty sure. And the reason we want a gun locker, because we were just hunting and now we gotta switch the, oh, we just switched the wrong gun. Oh my gosh. We got, a, we got incendiary rounds in this sucker though, so that's good. Gun locker with the, with the dang, uh, Summer update is definitely much appreciated. See, and they were killed because I took too long to switch my gun and got dang people killed. <laughs> please, gun locker, please help me. So I only have two guns to switch between. I should just go bam. Bam, switch. You know what? Bam, switch. Gun locker is going to be so awesome for us. All right, so make sure you guys are getting in before September 2nd. If you're on PlayStation, get this free Charbroza poncho. Make sure you're getting in and getting all your story missions done before that summer update comes. We don't have a date yet. If we get any more information this week or next, we'll definitely let you guys know here on the channel 
You guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.